All right, now, this is the part where we talk about databases and the Django ORM. Now, you don't know what Django ORM means. It means Object Relational Mappers. I know, doesn't make any sense at all, but I'm going to explain to you why it's so awesome and um, how can we use it, all right? So, first of all, we need to understand what SQL is. SQL means a Structured Query Language, which is a language that we use we use it when we wanna talk to the databases, when we want to get information from the databases or when we want to do any operations with databases. The command that I ran before, create database, that is a SQL, um, that is an SQL command, all right? So what we write on the console is called a SQL statement, all right? Now, when I say SQL, I am referring to relational databases, all right? Now, there are databases that are non relational and they have a completely different system and they work in a very different way. So SQL works on relational databases, SQL databases also, all right? PostgreSQL is a relational database. Now there is something called MySQL. MySQL is just like PostgreSQL, it's a different database, all right? But the SQL language is just the, the language that we use when we want to talk to the databases. Now, for example, let's say that we have a table as I told you in the beginning, a table is just like a page on an Excel uh, document, right? Because we have many pages in a document. A table is just like a page. So we'll find users. We're gonna get all the users that are from Colombia, for example, and we're gonna order them by the date when they were created. So this is how a SQL statement looks. It will select everything from the page users where the country is Colombia, and it's gonna order them by created date. Now you will say, dude, that's not bad, is I understand the code. Yes, you will, you understand the code, but right now it's because it's easy. It gets messy later. And w as a developer, you should strive to work with as less language as possible in one project. What I mean by that is that if I could, for example, I would love to write Python on the front end. And I, I would love to get rid of JavaScript. I would love to write Python for an iOS app and an Android app. And I would love to get rid of JavaScript. I would love to be able to use only one language on my project, but I cannot, right? So I have Python on the back end and I will have JavaScript on the front end. And that's cool because there are two languages. But what if you have to learn one more language, which is SQL language, then it's another thing that you will have to learn and that ain't cool. Okay, because you want to strive for less language as possible. Because let's face it, we might be developers, we might be smart, but we don't have um, the time to become experts in all languages, all right? So this is how the same thing would look if we were going to do it with the Django ORM, okay? So imagine that the Django ORM is a translator between your Python code and SQL code, all right? That looks much better, and that is Python code, so it's only one programming language that you need to understand. Now, in Django ORM, select from users, blah, 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 that is SQL, and this is on um, Python code, all right? Same thing. Now, I'm not saying that Django is not gonna do SQL, no, 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 Django will translate this statement into this, onto the SQL statement, but you won't have to do it. And that's why people also love Django because it's an abstraction from SQL. You don't have to write SQL, you just write Python and Django is in charge of turning it into SQL. And that's why it's so cool, all right? So you write Python, Django translates, and the database gets SQL. That's it for our Django ORM. Remember that. You write Python, Django translates, and the database gets SQL. So this is why a person like me and many developers, we want we like Django because the abstraction is very, very good. And the way that we don't have to touch SQL never again is just lovely, all right? So that is a short explanation of why the Django ORM exists and why we I like it so much. And it's a comparison between this one and this one, all right? So I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.